Oh yes. What is up YouTube? What is up? And we are live. Just adjusting my chair. Goes up. See how high I can go. I can do a good meter. I'm 6'2 guys. Um, so girls, if you like tall guys, um, I'm now tall. I'm officially... And here we are. Just stay about there. What do you think? about the hat. Keep the hat or ditch the hat. One second. And back to us. I was 6'2", briefly. But yeah, I love, I love this chair. I love life at the moment. Um, I just, um, as you can tell, I've not uploaded in ages. Well, it's not been a regular thing. I feel like I've let you guys down. Um, but things have been good. It's not like, oh, he's not recording, he's not uploading. It must be like some shit going on. No, all is good. How do I do this? I don't know how to start a video. I don't know, people. I do not know what I do. Uh, you know, like, I don't have this fake persona that some YouTubers do. Hey guys, what's going on? No, it's not me. You know, I can't, can't be doing that. Gotta take it back to basics. Why do I love to do this? Because when you're a creator, you create something, you put it, into the world, um, it's not like having a kid really, but it is in some ways because something you did is out there in the world, but when it's, well, when it's a person it's like there's a lot more responsibility, but I feel like when I make a video, like it's a, it's my baby, no I mean when you create, create stuff, it, it kind of, it takes a lot of um, anxiety of everything else away, because what you love to do, and if it's something you love to do, you've got to be thinking about it, like, when you're not, um, when I'm not making videos, I'm still thinking creatively, or trying to anyway, or thinking like, what can I make into a video? But I haven't been doing that for a while. And I think it helps to do that. To work on what I love. Um, otherwise, you just... You get fed up. And you need to fuel that creativity. Otherwise, you just get... Well, I, I know how I... I know how, how I get when... I'm fed up with everything. Um, you just get more anxious and... It makes it more difficult to upload and stuff. I don't know, I mean, I just get caught up in um, all these ideas, you know. Just keep it simple. So I've gone back to basics. Why I love to create. I just can't not do it. But people who do it, it's just, it's in your DNA. Um, I was watching like a, a podcast uh, with Logic and uh, Seth MacFarlane as in Family Guy, Ted, you know, and he was explaining like, he always loved um, cartoons, you know, he'd be drawing them as a kid while watching them on TV, um, and like, with me it's like the love of, I guess movies, I guess, TV, but I'd be watching a movie, I'd be like, those are good camera angles, but I'm not even watching the movie, I'm looking at the camera angles, you know, in the filming and 
how that's done. Because what I do is like ingrained in my DNA to think creatively. And uh, that is a different way of looking at the world. But yeah, I always loved movies from a young age. So it's part of me and like, talk, I like to talk, as you can tell. I'm a social animal. Most humans are. And it's just difficult, like, in the winter when you're not out and about as much. Or in my case, anyway. But now I've got this new chair. I'm feeling good, you know, getting out and about more. Because knowing I can actually be comfortable, drive the chair safely um, with my other chair, just all, all, all the things, all the things that were not wrong, but just not quite right, made it a bit more difficult for the basic stuff, like driving down the street, even though I still did it. Um, it was like, we're finding ways, but I knew I needed a new chair for so long, for the last few years, and um, I've gained weight as well, so I kind of grew out of the other chair, I had to be re re-measured for this a few times, and here we are, so creatively, I don't know if I'm in a good space, but it's part of my DNA, like, just upload whatever, don't be worried about the uh, the backlash, or is it backlash? That's the wrong word. Just don't be trying to please people. Just do what you do. That's what I'm doing. I keep looking at my phone because it's right there. Um, but yeah, I've not got a script. It's just like, oh, there's a screen. <laughs> Maybe I should lock my phone. Wake up. Lock screen. And there we go. Uh, voice control. The best thing I've ever done. The best thing on my phone. Don't need to touch the screen. So much easier. Um, so yeah. Getting out more, hopefully doing more vlogs outdoors. We'll see, you know. We'll see how it goes. I'm a chill. Look at this. Oh yeah. That is the life. The mother chair is right here. Right next to me. It's literally here. And like, what a beast, what a great chair, so many adventures, it's been all over the world. I might even in line. I have to line up again, we're still recording. My main line. Don't even friggin' know. Um, but yeah, I've been playing so much Lego Fortnite. It's unreal, guys. That game has taken over. It has taken over my life. I swear to God. There's no other game that's taken over my life. Nobody plays EAFC ever anymore. FIFA, whatever you call it. EAFC, but I haven't played it in like four months. I've literally only played Fortnite in one mode or another. With friends, it's so great. We've got like, a new group of friends on Fortnite that we're teaming up with. It's just so funny. But there's different modes. Uh, you know, if you play the game, um, prop pun. Being one of them is it's jokes. It, it it's like so hide and seek basically. 
It's like you'll be on a map, choose an object, you become an object, and you hide as an object. Those people gotta find you. And then they've got is a gun. Go around shooting objects till you find the people. It is really fun with friends. Everything's better with friends. If you didn't notice, I have a new hat. I took a chance to change hat. But I was fed up with the other one. Um, same brand though. I won't try to pronounce it. Um, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Um, but yeah, I've got a style. What can I say? I'm born with it. Like, it's in my DNA. Like, the creativity is just... It's there. And I think, um, on a more serious note, anyone with a creative mind is more destined to be insane in other ways than I think I am. Um, I embrace the fact that I'm not normal in more ways than one. Um, yeah. I'm not going to say cripple, am I? I can't, say, I can't say that. I mean, I can say that. But I shouldn't say that. Because other people normalise the word. But between me and my friends, we always... We use the word cripple. Don't use it. I don't recommend using it. It's not a time of endearment. Crip for life, nah. Not in a gang. Nor do I recommend being in a gang. But yeah, the best news I've heard this year is Lewis Hamilton joining Ferrari. Like a legend. Already we know that. I mean, he was never going to go to Red Bull. It's like the enemy. Sworn enemy. Because every driver knows whatever's going on with Ferrari is the team to be at. In the history of motorsport of F1, if you want to be good, like, go down in, in, in history, you've got a race for Ferrari. All, all the best British drivers have been at Ferrari at some point, or wanted to, and you know it. I mean, you know, for the love of the prancing horse, like, Ferrari's always been my team. Another thing, like, that I've always watched on TV, when it was good, now it's all bollocks. <laughs> I mean, it's not as fun as it used to be. But it's become a bit boring the last few years, the last 10 years, last, like, yeah, since Red Bull turned up. When they kept winning it, it was so boring, and then here come Mercedes. So I was fed up with Hamilton being at Mercedes, winning like the same thing. Mercedes winning every year. So come on, Ferrari. I've always supported Ferrari. And I'm glad Hamilton joined. He knows what's best for him. Whether he's old or young, whatever point of his career will take him. And yeah, here we are. But that doesn't affect my everyday life, really. But I, like, I used to talk about things outside of my life a lot, a lot more on this channel. But does it really matter to my everyday life? No. But Spurs, Tottenham, I mean, that kind of does. And they're doing amazing. But ups and downs, yeah. It's part of being a Tottenham fan. It's what makes it so exciting. It's part of the fun. And we have a great season. Whatever happens. Um, you know, and... Before Christmas. It was even better, yeah. But we're coming back slowly. All the players are coming back. From fitness. Why are you coming bloody fast? Don't go anywhere. Why are you coming fast? <laughs> Oh, I love that video. Where was I? I don't even know where I was. Oh yeah, Tottenham. Spurs. My beloved Spurs. Like, James Madison. Like, I don't think anyone knew how good he would really be. How vital he would be to our system. To the way we play. 
and we really missed him. The games he won there was just... All it was was red cards and injuries. Romero, like, chill. Romero, honestly. The guy's a legend, but chill. He, do, he, he does it for the team. Uh, he means well. But God, I don't want to be anywhere near his tackles. I would not want to be anywhere near. But on, on the football front, I am back to Padre football. Um, in, in a different team. Part of the same club, but um, still working my way back. I might just stay there, to be honest. I'm happy the way things are. Helping the club because without me they won't have enough players, this particular team, within our club. So I feel like I'm doing good. Staying there, helping some other players, you know, younger players. Um, people can look at it how they want from the outside. I've done enough um, opinionating, if that's the word of my own situation. I don't spend enough time thinking, are you good enough anymore? I am still good enough. Forget that question. I've got to stop asking now. I've, I've had phases, you know, in the past, uh, with change of teams, where it's affected me and it's been negative and positive. From a negative, I turned it into a positive in the past. Um, this is, being here where I am now is because I was ill before, we know that, that's in the past. Can't blame it on that, can't blame me for that. Just got to get on with it really. And I still see my, my teammates, or my, well, my former teammates that, um, the team I was in. But we're still part of the same club. So we still see everyone, played against them a few times. So that's good. But I just want to, you know, stay part of the sport. Um, you know, I've convinced myself that, uh, I mean, of course I deserve to be there. But you've always got that doubt at the back of your mind, which you shouldn't have. But then again, that serves as motivation to prove to not anyone but yourself that you deserve to be there. And I might need to, um, adapt my controls, my chair in some way. Still trying to find out what's best. I've got a tinker with a few things to see what's best for my chair, my playing position, for like my arm position in controlling the chair. But you know, there's so many ways around all these things. When you're in the sport as long as I have been, you learn to adapt and you've got to adapt change, you know, and there's a lot of young players coming through that are really talented, it's great to see, but I've got my own game to focus on, and I'm still here, still part of the sport, you know, age is just a number in this sport, there's players way older than me that are still playing and going to continue playing, so you know, I've got to see that perspective whatever team I'm in. Enjoy the time on the pitch. You know, that's what it's about. Some people do take it quite serious. Good for them because if you want to make it at the top, you've got to. But I'm past taking it that serious. But you know, I'll still play the game. Doesn't mean I'm not worth being in a top team. Um, so here we are. So that is what it is. I enjoy being part of the club. You know, it's, it's um, there's politics. Don't get me wrong, there's always politics. And that makes you want to just give up sometimes. Not the actual playing. The playing that people love. It's the politics that... Um, but yeah, I mean, that's with any sport. Um, so yeah, that's all good. That is exciting. And yeah, I mean, is this a podcast? Is this a vlog? Is it a video? Who knows? But I almost made a rhyme. That almost rhymed. I don't know what this is. It's me getting back to it. 
telling myself that I'm still worth um, worth it. What? L'Oreal, you're worth it. Because you're worth it. Got it. Now, what is that? Is that head and shoulders? It is a shampoo. Because you're worth it. But is it? I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm uploading this to prove that I still got it, baby. I've still got it. Yeah. We'll see. I'm still streaming content on on YouTube, so I'm I'm not doing nothing. I'm on TikTok always. Um, yeah, TikTok is mad. Anyway, these some of these clips will probably be on TikTok. Crash! I hit my my old chair. Sorry. Can't understand me. I hit my baby, my old baby, with my new baby. These chairs mean a lot, man. It's my life. I mean, you don't understand. So thank you for all the um. Again, thank you for all the support. You know, all the people. You no, know, this chair means a lot. I mean, the old one does too. All the adventures around the world, like, this chair's yet to have any, um, I mean, a few adventures locally, um, furthest is business can ever walk, um, and, no, the mileage is low at the moment, I want to up the mileage, I've got the app on my phone, it shows me the mileage, and every day is just, like, not even a mile, Disappointing. They're rookie numbers. Got to pump those numbers up. So I'm grateful for the chair. Grateful for Pete who um, measured me up and delivered the chair. Grateful for all the support. Everyone that um, you know wished me luck on the way, or donated, or gave me any sort of support. You know, there's a lot of you. You know who you are. Thank you. And as you can see. It's much appreciated. Um, this fine piece of equipment. Lovely piece of equipment. With the gold rims, you know. And the, the matte black finish. Looking like the Batmobile here. And, um... Yeah. Things are good. Forget January existed. Forget, like, it's the warm-up month. It, you know, it's the, um the free month subscription uh, and then now you've got to pay for the real subscription for the rest of the year <laughs> Amazon Prime yeah sign me up I'll do your advertising give me a sponsorship deal McDonald's now can't even eat is that McDonald's uh, you know, I'll, um, I'll promote Voss Water. I'll do that. I'll make my own whiskey. Everyone's doing that. <laughs> Even Seth MacFarlane has his own whiskey. Like, come on. I'll make some whiskey. I remember I tried to make beer once. That was terrible. That was on the vlog. I gotta dig out that vlog. Show you guys. So a lot of you might not have seen it. How do I remember these videos? I've done, like, I look, it's like 800 videos, maybe a thousand in the history of YouTube, in my history. But, like uploads, I, I, that many uploads. It's more than 800 vlogs anyway, or videos or podcasts. If you add them all together, it's a lot. And I always remember, like, a lot of YouTubers saying, like, you know, those are rookie numbers for some YouTubers, but, um, it's, you know, it's not always, well, it is about quality. I've got, I mean, got a lot of bad videos, got, got a few good videos, 
Um, and so, the more you make, the more room for error there is. God, if you've got like, say you've got 400 videos, the amount of them that would be good will be less than if you've got 800 videos. The chances of more high quality videos, um, you know, they're going to be higher, so the more you make. So it's not always quality over quantity. Trial and error, trial and error. Keep trying until you get a better video. You know, take what you've learned from one video, use it in the next. So in a way, it is about quantity. Like, keep making videos. You're going to learn something. The more you do something, the better you get. So if people say quality over quantity, I mean, it's not always the case. You know, you could make five videos and they could be all terrible. So you could make a hundred videos and maybe get two good ones. So think about it that way. Things aren't always like set in stone or how other people say they are. Got to just choose your way of working and just do it. Like no one gets it easy. But some well, Donald Trump had it easy. A small loan of a million pounds. A million dollars. Yeah, that'd be nice. But no one hands it to you. Like these videos I made, no one made them for me. I edited them myself. No I haven't hired anyone. I haven't paid anyone else. It's me and me alone. In in some ways, like people give me ideas, um, you know, and m motivation. But still, like, no one gives it. No one comes along and goes, "Here it is. Here's everything you wanted. Here's your success. You've got to make your own success. No one's going to give it to you." Um, Sorry, I got a dirty mind. No one's gonna hand it to you. You've got to work for it. And it might be overnight. I'm still here, making videos, not giving up. I enjoy what I do. And so that's the success. Um, if Amazon want to do a sponsorship deal, then be my guest. Then I'll be like, yes. But, you know, gotta work for it. It's not for free. Nothing is free in life. Not the best things are. You know, to look back and say, I did this. Look what Jesus did. <laughs> All the best to King Charles. Like, cancer's not a friendly, not a friendly thing. We know this. I mean, any, like, now with the awareness of cancer, like, it's already been around, but now Charles has got it, like, suddenly everyone would need an expert. Like, come on. There's real people that get it every day of the same age or younger. So, like, yeah, you're part of the royal family, but tell you what, cancer does not discriminate. It does not discriminate. No matter how rich you are, it goes beyond class, creed or whatever, or wherever you're from. It doesn't matter. It'll get you. And yeah, cold hard truth. I'm not a royalist. I'm not a bad person either. That's a human being. So yeah. But yeah, promotion. Hopefully not too soon. But if it is, the cancer they say it is, then yeah. I, I, I'm not joking about it. But yeah, that is the news. Someone's cutting a tree outside. Are they cutting a tree or cutting tiles? One or the other anyway. Um, but yeah, it's Friday and it's 12.30 according to the time on my screen on my wheelchair. Power chair. Don't say electric chair, because that sounds like murder. 
Not murder, but it sounds like you've done murder and you live in Texas. Metric chair, no. I do not have an electric chair. It's a power chair. Get your words right. Get your facts right. Um, yeah. But that's all I got. I'm, I'm done. Whatever you're doing, keep working on it. I've got faith in you. I believe in you. But you've got to believe in you. Fucking hell. Motivational shit. But yeah, I'm done. I will speak to you soon. Stay up, stay humble. Stay alive. Keep that brain active. You know, just... Be you. Don't let anyone tell you who to be. I I'm not good at this. I'm not Tony Robbins. I'm not Shaquille O'Neal. Can't do this shit. But yeah, I love you guys. Stay up, stay humble. Keep living your best life. That's it from me. Take it easy, fam. Peace. Um, spinning around. You spin me. Right round, baby, right round.